Hi guys, what's up? Whoa. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a follow me around vlog. So far, all I've done is get ready, dance with Flocky. And now I'm about to go do my bed, so let's get going. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in the car now and I'm about to head to Toronto, but before I start driving, I wanted to give Skillshare a quick shout out. They were kind enough to sponsor this video. For this week, I've been watching this productivity video. It's all about managing your time and structuring your day to get the most out of your day. And I've been really loving the tips and tricks that this video has. Um, basically, when Dawood and I are both off, we have like the laziest days ever. Whereas when we're both working, we're super productive. So we kind of wanted to make our days off less lazy and more productive as well so this video really focuses on creating a custom kind of schedule slash lifestyle that works for you and that keeps you productive throughout the day so I've been really loving that and I thought I would mention it in this video because I know a lot of you guys are on the same wavelength as me and really want to get things done and as always if you guys are interested in Skillshare you can head down below to the description box first thousand people to click on that link will get access to a free premium membership trial Hopefully you guys find that useful and let me know if you guys have any video recommendations in the comments down below. I'm calling Dawood so it'd be pretty awkward if he doesn't answer. Hello? Hello! Jasmine, hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Sounds so suspicious. <laughs> I'm filming a vlog. You're filming a vlog? Yeah! Hi guys, sorry I can't be in the vlog right now, unfortunately I have to work. Have fun at work. Drive safe, bye, I love you. Love you too, bye. Bye YouTube. <laughs> okay, so a dreadful hour and 45 minutes later, I am in Toronto now and I just got to this Bath and Body Works outlet that I used to go to all the time when I lived here and I've been needing some candles because I finished all of mine but before I go in I wanted to show you um, the mask that I've been wearing lately and it looks like this you guys saw that I showed you how I used to clip my mask using the Amazon clips um, but I found that this is way more convenient I don't have to carry two separate things it's just one mask that works for hijabis I will put the company right over here and I'll also have the link in the description box as well but basically it's a regular mask that any other person would wear but it has two um, strings that are adjustable um, you can see over here you can make them smaller bigger whatever but the catch is, is that they're connected there's no tying there's no ears nothing so all you have to do is just put it behind your head and then bring that up over here adjust the straps to wherever you want them to sit on your hijab and that's it you are wearing your mask in literally two seconds rather than having to clip anything anything like that this is what it looks like on the side um, it just holds on to your hijab at the back and you can lower the strap here and just tighten it as well whatever you want to do it works um, and they're super <laughs> they're super comfortable and um, I have a discount code for you guys. I will leave all the info on the screen and in the description box below So make sure you check it out because it's so useful. All right, so we kind of have a problem Well, you guys don't have a problem. I have a problem with shopping. I came out of Bath and Body Works With a huge bag ask me why I don't know ask me why I have no idea but I ended up spending a lot of money way more than I wanted to but the wood is gonna be so mad you guys I just came to my parents house and look at this little baby <laughs> Alright guys, so this is my annoying sister and her annoying friend 
and they wanted to be in my vlog. Her name is Tala, and her friend's name is Sama, and that's all you guys need to know. Goodbye. <laughs> hey guys, today we're in the bathroom by I picked out a few essentials. This is the Sweet Whiskey 24 Hour Moisturizer. I also picked up the Pink Velvet Cupcake, which I heard a lot on TikTok, so I wanted to test it out. I also picked up a few body washes because I just have money like that. This is the Sweet Whiskey with Aloe Vera and Vitamin E. I'll let you guys know how it comes out. And this is the Peppermint Marshmallow Candle. I have that. I don't really like it though. <laughs> I don't really like it. <laughs> it's okay. That's it. Do you donate a dollar to Women's Health? <laughs> I'll include my Instagram in the bio. Yeah, <laughs> the, the Instagram will. that you delete every two seconds. Yeah, she has a bit of problems, doesn't she? <laughs> I'll be a man. <laughs> Don't put that section, I swear I'll report you for bullying. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna put it. Nice to meet you all. She, she got a bunch of soaps to try to look rich, but these are 5 for $25. They're on sale. I seen them. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, Romeo. All right guys, so I am home. I'm not sure where I left off, but basically I spent the day at my parents' house and now I'm back home. And I actually came back home because Dawood's home from work, but he actually went to his cousin's house because they're having like a whole gathering with the guys. So I'm at home alone. I should have just stayed at my parents' house longer, but whatever. I'm glad to be home before I get tired. I hate driving when I'm really tired. I'm just gonna get ready for bed and maybe clean up a little bit around the kitchen area. And that's it for today, guys. I will probably pick this up on Sunday, which is not tomorrow, the day after, just because tomorrow I have some things to do. We'll see. I might pick it up tomorrow. I might pick it up Sunday. But regardless, I'm going to give you guys that salmon recipe that you guys asked for. I'll see you guys on Sunday or Saturday whenever I start the vlog again. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Okay, so it's the next day. Um, it is actually in the evening. I haven't picked up the camera till now and I'm gonna do that salmon recipe that I promised you guys that I will do. And Dawood is here from work. Oh, Dawood. I know, you guys They missed, missed you. That's okay. All I'm they got to now. see is, or actually all they, all they got to hear is your voice on <laughs> on that phone call in the car. Yeah, I just got back from work. Um, been a long day, but I actually met a few of you today at my- Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. You actually come, here all, come there all the time. Really? Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of you guys have visited us and me at the restaurant, which is cool, and everyone enjoys our food. Thank you guys, and hopefully more of you come because I'm like there all the time. If you guys don't know what the Woods restaurant is called, it's called La Luna, and it's in Hamilton, Ontario. Let's get started on the salmon recipe. Um, it's, it's so so like I'm sorry, it's so good. The other day really? she made it. Oh, I love that. I had seconds and I had a soccer game right before. You guys don't understand <laughs> how full I was and how bad I played, but it was worth it. Mm. Yummy! Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is prep some pico de gallo. I think that's how you call it. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm probably butchering the name. But basically all it is is tomato, cilantro, and onion. And then we're gonna squeeze some lime in there. Do you want to do that, Dawood? Dawood is helping me with the lime. Because she's not strong enough to do this. Okay, so now we're gonna add the spices. We're gonna add paprika. We're gonna add some salt. And then we're gonna add some tahini and some pepper. Black pepper. Black pepper. Okay, now we're just gonna put this aside and work on the salmon. We're just gonna add slits in there. Just kind of going diagonally across. So we're gonna start off with some cayenne pepper. We're gonna add some hot pepper. Yes, I love spicy. And then we're gonna add some black pepper. And this one is onion powder. Oof. Don't worry, we're gonna mix that in. And this is garlic powder. Mm. Now we're gonna add some salt. And now we're gonna do some olive oil on top. You're gonna go ahead and spread that all in. This is kind of weird, I know, but I add a bit of cream just on top, just like that. I didn't know that. 
And this, what it does is just creates like a, a creamy sauce on top. And that way, like the sauce actually sits properly on top of the salmon when you're cooking it. And it tastes really good. And it softens the salmon a lot too. I don't know if Chef Ramsay is watching this, but don't hate on me for mixing like huh. dairy with fish. <laughs> Now you're gonna use some lime and you're gonna put it on top, just like that. See, I'm strong enough though. Cause I softened it for you. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. You can use lime or lemon, doesn't matter. So you're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side and then you're gonna put it aside and work on the rice. Okay, so we pre-soaked the rice. This is brown rice. Um, we've realized that pre-soaking is actually very important. Um, it's easier to cook and it comes out very nice. So, and we're gonna cook this in the instant pot which is so easy to use. Um, it takes about 30 minutes to cook this, so let's do it. Guys, by the way, look at the bottom of our Instant Pot right me. there. That was me. Yeah, I was me. put it on a hot stove top and I melted the bottom. My grandma, she taught me like, don't ever like leave a piece of rice anywhere. <laughs> so I have a habit of like getting every single one. It's haram. According to her. It's Hayram. It's Hayram. Okay, so I'm just gonna saute it. So there's a saute button on this instant pot. I'm gonna throw in some butter. I have my spatula. Mix it. Okay, so Dawood has finished sauteing the rice, getting a nice experimental whiff. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm gonna put three and a half cups of water. Yeah, by the way, these are measurements according to the instant pot, not like yeah, a regular not, pot on no. the stove. So now I throw in one cinnamon stick, dig it in there, some bay leaves, give the rice a nice flavor, and just a touch of salt. Well, that's more than a touch. Oh, because I'm not used to this hole, I'm used to the other holes. <laughs> Last thing. Some cinnamon. So this is what the concoction looks like and now we're gonna seal it up and put the... Wow, there's a chunk of butter there. Thanks, Dawood. But <laughs> we're gonna put the setting on multigrain and it takes about 32 minutes. We're gonna set it to 32 minutes and then close it up and it should be good to go. Okay, so Jasmine forgot the sour cream. She thought we had a full pack of sour cream because we used it the other day, but we completely misplaced it. I told her she threw it out by mistake, but she doesn't think so, so I don't know where it went. She went to Walmart to go grab it. And I'm just gonna go do the dishes, so be right back. Okay guys, don't mind the dishes behind us. There's a crazy amount of dishes that we're doing, but this is the part of the recipe that I actually learned from Aileen. And if you guys don't know her, I'm pretty sure you guys do because she's amazing. Um, her account's called Islima and she does an amazing salmon. We used to make it all the time, but then I kind of like changed it up and added the pico de gallo. So this is like a kind of like her recipe with a twist. So, um, but the white sauce is exactly her recipe. So definitely check out her page on Instagram. She has like a highlight with all the details of the recipe. She makes an amazing uh, salmon. So I'm gonna do the white sauce now if you guys want to come over here i have the sour cream and we're gonna also add some mayo this probably sounds so gross Whoa. but it's really really good guys especially when it's cooked with the salmon then we're gonna add some dill i only have dried dill but you can add fresh dill it gives it a really awesome flavor so we're gonna add a lot of dried dill because Dang. Dry dill doesn't really have that much of a taste. But more. I will afterwards. And then I'm also going to add some pepper. Black pepper. And I'm also going to add some salt. Salt. And then we're going to squeeze a lemon in there. You're not strong enough for this one. I'm going to try not to get the seat. No! <laughs> now we're going to mix everything together. Honestly, I could be following her recipe totally wrong because the last time I checked her recipe was like months ago. But this has been working pretty well, so. But if you want the exact recipe, I would recommend checking out her <laughs> page. Okay, so now I'm gonna put that white sauce on the salmon. Okay, now we're gonna take the pico de gallo that we made and we're gonna put that right on top. Oh. Guys, this is like the best part. 
So um, the rice needs nine minutes. So that's the exact time that we need for the salmon. We need about 10 minutes for the salmon because we have a lot of stuff on top. Normally needs seven. Um, so we're gonna pop that into the oven. Which I have preheated at 450. So we're just gonna put that in there. You guys hear that? There we go. And we're gonna be like, good night. What time is it? Right now it's 11.04, so. Bruh. 12.04. 12 yeah, 12.04. <laughs> <laughs> there is about, I mean, two minutes according to my inaccurate math. <laughs> um, so we're gonna add some chips, Miss Vicky's chips. Aileen actually uses the jalapeno chips, I think. Um, you can definitely use that if you like spicy. I just have the regular one on hand, so I'm gonna be using that. And this basically adds like a really good crunch to the salmon. I know we're adding such weird things, but the salmon, trust me, tastes amazing. So I'm just crushing it up in my hand. I'm Don't gonna try not to burn myself. Ooh. It's about to get steamy. To the left. Bring it back now, y'all. One half of the time. <laughs> I'm gonna shake the whole house. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yummy. Let's dig in. Let's go. Alrighty, this is the final result. We made it look extra pretty just for you guys. Um, but we are so excited to eat. I actually ended up making mashed potato as well, but I didn't film that because it's just typical mashed potatoes. And of course, Dawood has a sriracha. And what are you grabbing? What else? Don't tell me ketchup. No, I'm not grabbing ketchup. Okay, good. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick recipe. Super... What the heck? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot that you will definitely have some leftover from the pico de gallo and um, the white sauce. Um, you can add the white sauce on the rice as well as the pico um, anywhere on the dish. It tastes delicious. <laughs> Food coma. <laughs> Why is your hand so creepy like that?